All right, well, Americans can start filing their taxes today, but a CBS News correspondent Michael George tells us some people may be waiting longer than expected for their refund. Last year, Claudia Longo filed her tax return in February. When she didn't receive it in a couple of months, she called the IRS. You would be on, on call for a long time and then maybe that call gets dropped or they send it to a different place and then you have to wait again. After calling multiple times and even reaching out to her senator, Longo finally got her tax refund five months later in August. I was <laughs> hoping to get that money uh, to start my daughter on uh, orthodontist treatment and we had to delay it. Around 30 million taxpayers had their refunds delayed last year because of pandemic related issues and the IRS is still playing catch up. The Treasury Department is warning of more delays again this year. What are some of the reasons we might see some delays this year? Well, first of all, if your information doesn't match uh, on the IRS systems, they'll certainly create problems. Mark Steber with Jackson Hewitt says the expanded child tax credit is a potential pitfall. Most parents only got half the money they were owed. The IRS is now sending out letters to help people properly file for the rest. And that can be a little complicated. You have to fill out the form on how many dependents you have, you may have new dependents. Shared custody can create a complication. Steber says unemployment benefits are taxable. Stimulus checks are not, but still need to be reported on 2021 tax returns. So make sure you understand what is taxable and what is not taxable. The fastest way to get a refund is to file electronically and set up direct deposit. The IRS says most people who do that get a refund within 21 days. Michael George, CBS News, New York. And the deadline to file your taxes this year is April 18th.